welcome everyone to NIOS video series. Today what are we doing? We are doing data entry operations. Lesson number 2. The name of the lesson is operation system. Part 1. So let's begin. The operating system in these days uses graphical user interface. Here you do not have to remember all the commands by heart. Operation system is consists of applications, monitor, printer, mouse, hard drive, keyboard. Operation system is very useful because here you do not have to remember all the commands by heart. The commands are visible on the monitor as icons. The most popular operating system available today is Windows. Windows operating system has evolved over time in form of different windows that are visible to you in the slide. The first windows were Windows 95, Windows 98 and Windows 2000. Currently, Windows XP, Windows Vista and Windows 7 are in use. In this lesson, we will explain the main features of Windows XP. We see that the technology has evolved. As you see in the given picture, elements of Windows XP. Now, the latest window is Windows 10. It's been 10 years it is still used. Logging on. So the picture shows you have to log in by putting a password. When you are done putting the operation system and when you start your computer, it first asks you for your password. So why is password important? When you buy a computer, who is it? For it is for you. It is your private computer. So whenever you are out, someone else cannot use your computer, can take away your data, delete your data or inquire your data. So to protect your data, you have to put a password just like you put in, the, in your phone. So when you start your computer, it starts with start menu. In the start menu, all the options are shown that are there in your computer. This is a task bar, which is there in the end of your screen. And what is its use? It shows time, it shows the volume, it shows the battery, and it consists of all the installed apps. So starting a program. How do you start a program? So when you start the menu, you see the programs option and programs option you have different options like word paint notes calculator all these features are available so whenever you open any program and you're finished working on it you have to quit so the red cross is quit.
what do you do when you need help so getting help in windows there is a help and support center instead of asking other people you can ask for assistance from your computer you when you have a doubt regarding a feature you can always ask your help and support center which is available in the computer and you can type and ask and different faqs are also available you don't need to ask anyone else as your computer will help you so you all must be putting pictures and different files and folders in your computer and when you want to search them and you can't find it you don't recall where have you feed the folder so you see the search button on the screen so similarly you have your search button in the computer so you can search the name of the folder you have earlier saved from and that is where you will find your folder changing system settings so when you buy your computer and you don't like the background or anything or any software program you can add background colors to it by changing the system setting by using control panels tools you can customize the way windows look and work also you can install new hardware add programs remove software programs change the look and feel of your desktop and much more so you all must be wondering how do we do it to start control panel and use available tool do the following you have to go to the start program click on start and you see control panel there so when you open control panel you see different options so what are the uses of these options you can use these options to customize your windows i explain you how first you can focus on the appearance and theme of your desktop in second you can use network and internet connections by connecting a usb wire and you connect the network and put the password of the wifi and after you have done that you can use the internet in your computer you can use google third point if you want to add or remove programs you can do that you can buy a program in a cd and you can install it in your desktop it can be a video it can be ppts it can be speed typing anything whatever you want to add if you feel that you don't have use of a particular app you can remove it too fourth point the sounds speech audio device it is you can set up the volume you want to hear in fifth point performance and maintenance so after installing and storing you see that there is drive c and d so when drive c is full 
and you see that the drive's color has changed to red, you can remove some files from C and put it in D. Or you can add another drive. Sixth point is printers and other hardware. So when you buy a printer and connect it to your computer, after you unlock the printer and connect, you can use it. Seventh point, user accounts. So if somebody tries to use your account, they cannot because when you have your private files in it, the password is different. Eight point is date, time, language and other regional options. So you can choose if you want to see your time in 24 hours or if you want to see it 12, in 12 hours, you can select the option or the language you want to choose for your computer. All the languages are there, Hindi, English or any regional language. Ninth option is accessibility options. It is related to, related to persons with disabilities. So if somebody is blind, there will be speech help because the windows make it accessible. Ten point is security center. What does it mean? It means when you have all your files and if, the, and if there is a virus that can destroy your files or damage your files, the security center protects it. So you see that you understand from first to tenth point and if you want to apply it to your computer, you can. You can choose any option, any color and customize your desktop according to you. So what is using my computer? Let us see now. So my computer displays the contents of floppy, hard disk, CD, ROM and network drives. One can also search for open files and folders and use options in control panel to modify computer settings. Anyone can go through their files and manage it. So you must be knowing how to use my computer. If not, I'm going to explain you. To use my computer, click on start and then click on my computer. And after you open it, you will see the same exact view like you see in the slide. There will be local disk, CD and floppy disk and drive. Let us learn what is file management in Windows R. So file management in Windows can be done through Windows Explorer or my computer. In it, it displays the hierarchical list of files, folders and storage drives. The work we have done till now The amount of it and when was it done, date and time, is everything visible on your computer. You can see both fixed and removable drives. All these information is there in file management. How do we go to my documents? What are my documents? My documents are the files and the folders 
which consist of videos, pictures, songs, events, PPT, work, Photoshop, video editing and all these softwares. This is my documents. So what is recycle bin? We have seen till now how do we find our files but what if you want to remove a file? Where does the file go after you delete it? So you see in the picture recycle bin. When you want to delete a file you can delete it by clicking into delete or send to recycle bin. So here you see empty recycle bin. So maybe if you want to restore those files that you might have deleted by mistake, you can do it. Till now I have explained you the working of different systems. But now we will see the using of Windows Explorer. In Windows Explorer, you click on Start, you click on All Programs, you click on Accessories and there you find Windows Explorer. So copying and moving files from Explorer, how to do it? Click the file or the folder to be copied. More than one file or folder can be copied at the same time as you see in the picture. These files can be moved according to you. So view file details, how we see the details. By viewing the file details, it will display all the details about files such as name, type, size, etc. You can choose what you want. So after all these workings are done, now we see that how do we create a new folder. A new folder is displayed with the default name new folder and you can put anything you want in the folder you make. So after you give a name to it. Rename a file or a folder. So just now I told you that we can install a new folder. So how do we rename it? Click on the file or folder you want to rename. Thank you. Thank you.